A Stockton Marine veteran is leading an effort to help Ukrainian families. He has seen the crisis in Ukraine firsthand. KCRA3's K. Rasid shares why he felt compelled to step in. Every man is guilty of all the good he did not do. These words tattooed on Richard Campos's arm are the driving force that motivates him. The moment that we stop helping each other, that's when humanity cease to exist. A combat veteran, retired sheriff's deputy who is now risking his safety to help the people of Ukraine. I'm not looking to be a martyr at all. Believe me, I, I love life. I love living. <laughs> and it's, but uh, I know it's important that uh, I continue doing what I'm doing is helping them. These are images Campo shared with KCRA of his three day trip to war torn Ukraine in March. It's a mixed bag of feelings. You get that. Uh, of course, you get that uh, good feeling, but you also get a feeling of um, uh, how can I do more? He says his first night, he stayed with distraught women and children at a church turned shelter. It really hit me that these children, just weeks prior to this, were living in, in the safety of their own home, sleeping in their own bed. Even though he did not know the language, Richard says he had an open mind and open heart, which helped him break down the communication barrier. Regardless if there's a language barrier, you just got to show your confidence, your positiveness, and your passion. They'll feel it. Campos adds he also met with Ukrainian military members. They're seeing their own soldiers dying on the field, and this will give them that extra little chance to survive. In their meetings, he learned of their needs. They go, what we need is medical kits. We don't have medical kits, or we're short of them. And our troops, when they get hurt or shot or injured in the field, they're bleeding out. Now Campos is asking his fellow veterans, retired law enforcement officers, and the greater community of San Joaquin County to help supply first aid kits that he will take with him when he revisits Ukraine. It would definitely mean that uh, I was listening. Someone cares and they're keeping their word. In Stockton, K. Recede, KCRA 3 News. Wow, and he's going back. It's pretty incredible. Campos works with a European nonprofit organization which is helping the people of Ukraine. The Marine veteran also spearheads humanitarian efforts in Iraq.